we have many gardens at St. Sidney's that came, and walking paths or rolling paths, raised beds, uh, lots of birds up here. But there is something about being able to see birds outside your window that will always be something that people can appreciate. If that can't be possible, lots of people do put feeders or bird baths outside their windows. We also have two aviaries in the building, and these are aviaries built for facilities like this. But they can hear the birds, they can see the finches, see the doves, big enough that they can fly, they find their mates, they build their nests, um, hatch their eggs, raise their babies, and we can get people out of rooms to come and just sit there every day to see who's doing what now. Beautiful saltwater fish, uh, gentle uh, sound of water, and the colors, so there's something for everyone. With the gardens, we have a butterfly garden that went in a, a year or so ago. And we're working toward becoming a monarch way station. So we're carefully trying to plant all the foods that we have, plant foods that they need for nectar or that the caterpillars need, and um, bring that into the lives of the residents. Probably the best thing we have at St. Simeon's is Simone. Everybody's had a Excuse the peacocks. Everybody's had a dog in their life, and they've had to give it up to move into St. Simeon's or almost any place unless they're out in independent living. But Simone is their dog. She makes rounds every day to visit residents, but she is the mascot of St. Simeon's. We also encourage and have many therapy dogs come and visit, and that, that's great. Anything we can bring into the lives of the residents. Plus, the times they spend with plants and animals outside, the, the air is fresh, the sun is good for their, for their skin. Uh, all those things linger long, long after. They even forget what they may have done that day. But that feeling inside stays forever. It begins as you come in the gate. We have beautiful grounds and trees, and flowers and gardens, every window a resident looks out is going to see something in nature. We're up here on a hill by ourselves, so it's just the vista of the sky, the Oklahoma sky, and the beautiful surroundings on the campus itself. Then inside the building, because lots of people are only going to be able to be inside most of the time, we bring nature into them also. We also have residents who help feed the fish, the koi in this pond that everybody likes to come and sit by and watch or take care of the aquariums and the saltwater fish that we have in there. It just is a win-win situation. It also gets people outside. Sometimes they don't want to go outside, but if there's something going on out there, like next week we'll have our annual turtle races, they're going to come out. The peacocks are the highlight. Uh, this gives people, connects them back to that circle of life, of spring always bringing new life. Another benefit of flora and fauna is they all stimulate the senses. And people, when their sense of smell is stimulated, for example, it brings back memories. Maybe they can't smell as well anymore, but they can touch. Uh, they can reach out and, and feed a peacock, who, by the way, will eat anything. The sights, the sounds of the birds, of the peacocks in particular, uh, are always distracting. It really is something that the whole family can appreciate. And come, of course, come by and say hello to Simone. She's on Facebook, has her own Facebook page, so they can stay in touch with what's going on at St. Simeon's too, if they live out of state or someplace else. And we all are on the same page.